Welcome to SST's web presentation of PDMS to Caesar 2 Translator software. First, we start PDMS and open an existing design. In this design, I have highlighted the suction line that I want to transfer into Caesar 2. It is highlighted in pink. If we click the line, we see that it's named 100-B-8 and is made up of two parts. Next, under Utilities, we open the PDMS to Caesar 2 translator. Here we create a single neutral file and specify our export directory. We'll call this file suction line 10. As you can see, you can specify units and SP gravity as well as starting node number and node number increments. Also, in PDMS, the various support locations are identified in the model using ATTAs, within which the AT type is set to a string like SUPP, or support, shown here. From the hierarchy, we select our piping structure 100-B-8 and select Add Current Element to add it to the transfer window. Once we click Apply, we get a confirmation that the data has been exported and is saved under the file name we gave it. We'll minimize PDMS and come back to it later to compare our transferred piping. Now we open the plant design to Caesar 2 interface. We select the file that we created in PDMS, section line 10, and we only need to click in the field below to have the translator automatically fill in the output file name for Caesar 2 format. You'll notice you have a choice of using a mapping DB or database, which you will use to transfer your support and material data. I will go over this in more detail at the end of the presentation. Now we're ready to convert the data into Caesar 2 format. To begin the process, we click the transfer button. After we have our confirmation that our data was transferred, we can exit and close out of the interface. Next, we open Caesar 2. From the Tools menu, we go under External Interfaces and select Caesar 2 Neutral File. <clears throat> we click on Browse, find the file that we created, and click the Convert button. Now we go to Open File and find the converted file, which is now in Caesar 2 format. Under Input, we select Piping, and we're ready to view our model. Let's look at analysis. Please note that we have made no changes to the Caesar 2 model file. First, let's take a look at support loads.
Next, we look at sorted stresses. We can also look at the total weight of the system. There it is. Now let's also look at dynamic analysis. We select modal and run the analysis. Let's look at natural frequencies. I want to stress again, we did not make any changes to the model that we extracted from PDMS. Now let's go back and talk a little bit about setting up your support and material database. When you transfer all of your data from PDMS to Caesar 2, you will most likely want to retain all of your material and support information. For this, we have given you the option of identifying all your different support and material types through the use of a database that connects the two platforms. These databases can be created one time at the beginning of your project and will be located in the iPlant folder. As you can see, the left-hand column lists the PDMS supports as designated by the design department. The right-hand column pertains to supports in Caesar 2. When the design team and stress engineers create this one-time easy-to-modify database, the transfer of information becomes extremely fast and efficient. This feature will ultimately save you time and money on all your projects. Let's go back into our design in PDMS and pick a support location that we are using on the piping we transferred into Caesar 2. We click on the piping and find the ATTA. In this case, 100-B-8-B1. Now let's locate the name of this support as it is called in PDMS. There's our support. We find the support by looking in the S text line. We can see that our support is called TRXZ. Now, if we go back to our support database and find TRXC, we can see that it's a, a restraint that Caesar 2 identifies as a translational restraint in the X and Z direction. The same method can also be applied to the material mapping database that you can use to convert all of your PDMS material types into the appropriate Caesar 2 materials. Let's take a look at that database. The PDMS materials are listed on the left and have the correlating Caesar 2 material index on the right. This concludes our presentation. Thank you very much.